it's like every month, every month or every other month since March of 2022, I've been getting flat tires. I'm like, there's no way I can run over this many nails. What is happening, right? And so in the beginning, I'm like, somebody is trying to sabotage me. So I'm like, why did I go there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Then I'm like, God, what, what thing did you just save me from? Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. accident did you just prevent me getting into? What experience did you just avoid me having? What traumatic event, tragedy, horrific thing that you just evaded by allowing me to run over that nail again? And yes, it's going to cost me money. I get a patch. Uh, I'll get like two, three patches on the same tire. And then finally, I got to repair the whole, I got to just get replaced the whole tire. And each and every time I'm like, what opportunity are you presenting in front of me? What thing did you just save me from? I don't know what it was, Lord, but I just want to say thank you in advance for whatever you just saved me from. That's been my new shift in, in thinking where I'm like, no, 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 no one's sabotaging me. If anyone's going to sabotage me, it's going to be me, mm -hmm. right? So I'm not going to assume what I can't prove with evidence. And I'm just going to rely that God has a plan and there's things that he won't reveal to me for, for his reasons that are going to remain a mystery. And I'm just going to have faith in that. And I believe there's things like that that are happening in people's lives right now. Something to that example, maybe higher, maybe lower. And it's like it, it builds into something so much bigger than what it was. Like notice how I just said, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting flat tires and I'm running over nails. And then I blew it up to somebody is trying to sabotage me. Now that becomes my mindset. Now, every time I get into my car, I'm looking around to see, you know, or at night I'm opening my door to see if I catch anyone in the parking lot. I'm like, are you serious, Denzel? You're consuming your time, energy, and focus on, on something that's not even there. No one's there, right? And I'm like, whoa, how many times are we doing that for other things? And it bleeds and it just, we just blow it out of proportion. I'm like, it's not that serious. <laughs> just go change the tire. Like, it's yeah. not that serious. It's going to happen. Right. I, I share all that because now I'm, I'm learning in my practice, in my business that there's these emotional conversations. There's these things that are, that are happening that are really blocking us. And, you know, we're, we're living in a time of, you know, especially in the United States. I mean, we're not being invaded. There's not a war going on, right? There's, there's war in other places around the world, yes. But on the homeland, it's like, for the most part, we're in a peaceful environment. So oftentimes we create wars in our in our own mind, I think. I was having a wonderful conversation. You know, we go to the same church at Calvary and I'm in a group right now. It's called the Kingdom Men series. And it's like we're doing it for like six weeks. At my specific table, I'm the youngest guy there. And there's like three or four seniors that are like in their, you know, 60s, 70s. They've been married for years. And they were talking about wartime as it related to how they were raised by their fathers, right? By their fathers or stepfathers. So they were raised in wartime, whether it was Vietnam, whether it was World War II, or their fathers were in the war. Like they served in World War I or World War II. And then once the war was ended, the war came home. And, and the, that father didn't know how to emotionally connect spiritually to their children, to their wives. And they, they were just a protector and they were just providing, but they weren't being a priest over their household. Mm -hmm. So that spiritual never, you know, got there. And it's like, when we, when we track what's been going on in our lives from a very young age, we begin to realize, oh, wow, my, my parents were in wartime. Then the war ended, but the war came home that bled into my life that created belief systems about myself. And now I myself until now grew up in a, in a world where there, I didn't ever have to go to war. I was never drafted or recruited. Yeah. And the, the side effects of spiritual warfare never was addressed as a, at a young age. So we're, we're only given the logical stuff and then we wonder why we're having mental breakdowns all the time and why mental health and suicide rates are so high. And it's like, wait a minute, we're not at war. What's going on? And it's like, wait a minute, no, there's a different war going on. It's a spiritual warfare and it's the, and it's the warfare of ideas as well. The war mm -hmm. of ideas, things that come into our mind that contaminate us, get us to the point of literally ending it all, right? Yeah. Wanting to just, you know, clock out, exit, I'm done and, and not grow.